about all your insecurities. What? Drag me like two hours to your family's house for what? Save you me some time, but I should stick around for what? Always felt like sticking around to say it's been love. And like guns with the ink in you, getting under my skin. Pretty little young man, but a nigga coughing's got me too excited. Hey y'all, it's Lauren Kennedy and welcome back to my channel. Alright y'all, so today is a get ready with me for my Valentine's Day look. I'm going to be taking pictures for Valentine's Day. Y'all... If y'all know me, I really don't know how to do my makeup, but we're going to try. So I guess for today's video, it's just going to be a little chit chat, get ready with me as I do my makeup, slash teach myself how to do my makeup. So since we're in a college dorm, I don't really have, you know, a mirror. And I used to have like a whole like little vanity set up, but I got rid of that. So now I'm just using my iPad as my setup. So I guess what I wanted to chit chat and talk about was just learning how to love yourself for like getting into relationships and understanding what you want as well as some of the steps that I took for self care and really understanding what I wanted out of myself and out of others. So now I'm about to do my makeup. So the first thing that I'm going in with is the spiked eyebrow pencil from MAC. First thing that I wanted to get into was I feel like you can't allow for somebody else to love you if you don't love yourself or understand what exactly you want out of a person if you don't understand like what you value the most and I think that that is crucial this is a talent because that I obviously don't have it's crucial to understand how hopefully this turn out right because we're not this is gonna be like a real talk but also me trying to figure out what I'm doing I feel like a lot of people especially in college jump into relationships just to like fill the void or like feel like they have to be with someone because like they don't want to be alone and that's okay some people some people need to be in relationships to oh, y'all that looks a hot mess that really looks a hot mess oh my gosh i feel like me personally i feel like you don't need to be in a relationship to feel whole within yourself and that's just my opinion i think that personally yeah i'm messing this up hold on we gonna i'm gonna go just do my eyebrows and come back and finish talking y'all all right, so doing my eyebrows on my iPad mirror is not a talent that I have acquired yet. So I just did them off and like I'm just blending in my concealer. I just use this Pro Conceal from LA Girl. I don't use anything like anything really fancy because your girl's a beginner. I just feel like a lot of times in college, some people feel like they need to be in a relationship instead of finding that person that really completes them. You have to take that time to understand what you really want out of the person, out of a person and most importantly for yourself. And I say that because like I went through a period of like self-discovery and healing where I really like sat down and understood what I wanted and like understood how I wanted to love myself and how I wanted to be loved way, way too much foundation but that's probably not even how you're supposed to apply it but we just doing we just doing everything that we're not supposed to do and it's okay it's gonna all work out it's gonna still look cute i think like a year ago i want to say it's a year ago y'all i forgot to put my concealer on oh my gosh this is like the worst get ready with me do not watch my channel for um any sort of makeup advice because i i cannot give it to you and i can't give it to you all right, y'all, I had to do that part off camera too because y'all just gonna have to trust the process because I barely know what I'm doing myself. I'm just blending. Blending till I can't blend anymore. I don't even remember what I was talking about, y'all. It was a time period 
where I went and just read books on like how to heal and of course like I started therapy and I just had like a lot of like unhealed trauma that I had to face especially from like past relationships of that sort and like kind of understanding like the damage that that did to me in terms of like different interactions even and how those affected me in my life I just think that like a lot of people kind of like jump into relationships or jump into relationships that might actually be healthy for them and without like addressing some of the issues from the past not saying that you have to go into like a relationship or you have to be completely healed to allow yourself to really be in a relationship but i feel like you can't just hop into another relationship without being able to give that person your all and your complete self but i definitely feel as though you have to allow for yourself to heal to be able to give your full self to somebody else and that person has to be receptive of that as well like y'all i'm no rela relationship expert but what i do know hurt people hurt people and by that i mean you can't be hurt or still hurting from something prior and feel as though somebody else is going to heal you that's just not how it works and sometimes somebody can come and show you things that are show you something that is different but I feel like you can't be fully there to receive that love if you haven't like sat and processed that with yourself and that's exactly what I did or tried to do because I was just going around just like hurt hurting you just really can't do that so i would read listen to music indulge in some of my hobbies that i enjoy like painting of course shopping i acquired new hobbies such as record collecting but during that time i really just sat and listened to like music and read and really understood like why i was going through this and understood like myself a lot more and it takes a lot of discipline it takes a lot of loneliness it takes a lot of tears and lord knows how many times i sat on um let me see lord knows how many times i sat on the phone with my therapist crying about things that i've like been hurting about but i also have really bad anxiety as well I just feel as though you have to give yourself that extra love and attention and heal yourself first because like I said you're going to be continuously searching for that love from somebody else or the energy and that you have not given yourself. Yeah, I'm not going in with any lashes because I really like the, just the mascara look on me so that's what I'm going to do because my eyes already pop. <laughs> I just feel as though I feel so at peace with myself and the woman that I'm becoming because I just know that like whatever is meant for me will be for me because I have found this new love and confidence for myself. I'm struggling to get this open. I've had this newfound love and confidence for myself. I know what I want and what I deserve and I'm not settling for less. That blush just do a little something. <laughs> Just, just subtle, you know what I'm saying? So I said, y'all just gotta trust the process because at first, y'all, it was not looking too good. Lips are so dry. It probably was not the best story time, y'all. This is my first, oh, I overlined my lip. It just goes to say you have to pour that energy back into yourself. And I even started journaling, like journaling a lot of my thoughts. I can't understand how these makeup gurus be struggling. I started journaling down my thoughts. And really understanding and processing what was going on and why I was missing out on that love that I needed and that I was looking for and it was just like missing within myself like I was lacking a lot of confidence a lot of like self-esteem and then I was wondering why other people couldn't see it see it because I didn't even have it myself y'all hate when I put on liner and then my lips look white like what that's so disrespectful why are doing that being really self-aware and understanding your potential, understanding your worth, understanding and not settling for less. I feel like y'all have heard that probably like a lot before, but I feel like in college, like 
people really need to understand that because I feel like it sets the tone for all of your relationships that you have in the future and as well as what you would tolerate. And I'm very self-aware. I'm very aware of my emotions. I'm aware of how people make me feel. So if somebody makes me feel some type of way that I know is less than what I deserve, I'm not dealing with that. We strong in the knees. We're not weak in the knees over here, y'all. So for my red lipstick, I usually go in with a brown liner because I like how it kind of gives this burgundy look. And all I go in with is my Fenty Beauty lip stain, I think. I just put this on because, you know, your girl got some, some big juice to lips. I just... can never go wrong with a red lip period i told y'all y'all just had to trust the process now that's it for my makeup so now i'm about to go get dressed and i'll show y'all the finished look all right y'all so this is the finished look i have on this shirt that i got from shein and a leather skirt and i also paired it with some red heels but this is the finished look. I feel like I like it more with like the lights off. It kind of sets like the ambiance. So this is what the finished look looks like. Don't mind my messy bay, y'all. But I will post the pictures. I love you all. Happy Valentine's Day. Bye. Good morning y'all, so it's the next day. I'm going to Target, Target Run, because it's so pretty outside and it's just a nice day. Today is the day of the Super Bowl and South Carolina and LSU play today. It's gonna be a pretty eventful, eventful day. Angel Reese is like that bro. <laughs> she like that. Eat them up, I swear. <laughs> After that, I'm going to study for a little bit, but then that's really, all my Sunday is going to consist of so I guess this could be considered a Sunday reset after my interviews so yeah y'all it's Mater Alright y'all, we're in the kitchen. Oh, <laughs> I said cooking in the kitchen. Y'all, we're in the kitchen about to cook for the Super Bowl and meal prep for the week. We're trying to do this while watching the game, um, the South Carolina game. Y'all, we're in the study lounge watching the game. Who y'all want to win? I know I wanted South Carolina to win. Who you want to win, Cam? You want the LSU to win? We just finished meal prep. Now we're working on the buffalo chicken dip before the Super Bowl. And we're gonna eat tacos tonight too. So I gotta make the rice for tacos. She's been shredding chicken for the past hour. <laughs> we just gotta get that together. And then we'll be done. We almost done, we almost done. Yeah, we almost done. So y'all, if y'all don't know how to make rice, you put, <laughs> you don't know how to make some rice, especially 
white rice. All you do is put half a cup and then you just double that, which is a cup. So you pour it in there. <laughs> pour the water in there. And then you put your butter or oil in there. Margin. <laughs> And then you let it come to a boil and once it boils for a minute then you cover it and then you put it on low for um until it finishes cooking mm -hmm. <laughs> So I'm watching the Super Bowl, but I'm also doing my homework. I do plan on going in my room and listening to music after and finishing my homework because I got a lot to do and I have to study for an exam tomorrow at 9 o'clock and I have not studied yet. We love that for me. I got to get my life together and study for my exam. So right now I'm doing my homework. That's what we're doing while watching the Super Bowl. Hey, this for the hammer, money. LeBron's there. <laughs> hey, they're floating. This why it's 29 minutes long. This for the hammer. Hey. touchdown all right y'all so the super bowl is over the eagles got robbed of that game but i really don't even know football like that but that didn't make sense to me but All right, y'all, so this is my outfit for today. I'm wearing my CDGs in honor of Valentine's Day. This outfit was a really quick outfit and it's really plain because I have an exam this morning, so I'm trying to keep it as simple as I possibly can, but I just have on my oversized denim jacket with a gray hoodie and some gray jeans that I got from American Eagle. And do not mind my messy room, y'all. It was a rough weekend, so I'm going to clean up a little bit later. But today is kind of going to be a busy day for me, so I just kind of want to be a little bit chill, a little bit comfy, because, like I said, it's an exam this morning. I have it in like 40 minutes, so I just want to make sure that I'm comfy for the day. It's, I don't think it's going to be too cold outside today, but just like, it's not doing too much, if that makes sense, so, yeah. <laughs> The baby bottles. Alright y'all, so it's my lunch break. I have to sell like baked goods for my organization, so that's why I'm here over. Yeah, and I also have to work on my work, but I thought it was so cute how they have like Valentine's Day cupcakes for your sweetheart. That's so cute. And they're red velvet, so. I just got a turkey bacon sandwich, turkey bacon and cheese sandwich, and um, yeah. Roll up, 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 Oh no! No, y'all want to see it? No cookies. It's a dollar. You get it? One, one second. One second. I'll get it. One minute. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right, y'all. I got these cute Valentine's Day truffles. This is what they look like. They're so cute. That's what we were selling for our bake sale. I'm currently heading to lab for my class, so. Yeah. Just see. I did the 
lab. In case you want to know, it's backwards. It says It says now it looks like it says it looks like P on here. I you better on the first day. I should have said what's wrong in the first place. I don't cause you always taking it the wrong way. You won't listen, you're too busy playing to I always been down, but you still sleep. And even though I said it now, you should have been peed. I feel it in my soul, yeah, it's so deep, so deep. You should know that about me. Yeah. I just turned, just turned down your avenue. I had to, but I'm mad at you. Yeah, you always say I got an attitude. Oh, yeah, but that's you. You was acting rude. I had to ask you if you had a few. You always say I got an attitude So I just kind of went to sleep, but this is my outfit for Valentine's Day. I just have on these red glasses, some heart earrings, and um, all white. Okay, y'all, so this is my fit for today. I just have on this sweater from Shein. My glasses are from Shein as well. I feel like since it's Valentine's Day, it's only right that I put on red. So I did a red and white look. I have on these gray jeans and my CDGs, of course. I haven't worn these in so long, but these are one of my favorite shoes. I feel like it's perfect for Valentine's Day. It goes with my outfit. I feel like this outfit just like screams Valentine's Day without doing too much so this morning i have lab so today i'm just making sure that i'm dressing in a way that's like appropriate for lab but also like something that's sustainable for the for all day i probably won't keep these glasses on all day but we'll see i just feel like it's so cute and then these earrings i got from shein as well shein just has everything it's just like so hard to not shop on shein yeah, so I just got done with my lab. Got some Starbucks. Right now, I'm just working on finishing up my art assignment because I did not finish it last night. And I'm um, going to my graphic design class, but I think that's all. I think that's all that I'm going to do for today. Well, you guys can like check me while I do my work and finish up my sketchbook. But thanks for watching this video.